okay so if you're with me let's work on this sordic equation square root of x the square root of x and the square root of x equals 2 i call this sordic equation because of the roots right and then there are ways you can deal with this but let's use this method why don't we square both sides so that this takes this away and we have x the square root of x square root of x to be equal to 4 right and then because we still have roots we are still going to square and square if you square one side you must square the other side so x squared is going to come down here this is x squared right then this one and this can now go so we have this here and we still have root x and this is equal to 4 squared which is 16. guess what i will do next multiply these two because they are outside of the root this is x to the power of 3 then we have root x which i'm going to square it because of this root and this is equal to 16 squared and you know what 16 squared is what is 16 squared okay do you know it 16 squared is 256 right do you agree okay let's work on this this is x to the power of 3 to the power of 2 and what do we do when we have two powers multiply the powers so this is x to the power of 6 then this can go so we multiply by x this is it right and then at the end of the day we have 16 squared which is 256 what do i have to do this will multiply this as it gives us x to the power of 7 and is equal to 256 and we still have something to do what is that remove this power from the left so we can do that by multiplying it by its reciprocal 1 over 7 so we now have 256 to the power of 1 over 7 as well this can take this out so that x is alone and is equal to 256 to the power of 1 over 7. If you want to simplify this, I think you can do it this way. x is going to be equal to... Okay, so 256 can be 2 raised to the power of 8, right? Then we have 1 over 7. So to break this further, x will be 2 raised to the power of 8 over 7. This is because 8 will multiply 1 and it will be over 7. So this is the value. But I want to do um, use another method to do this very quickly in case you're not comfortable with this particular method. If you're with me, let's go. Second method. Okay, second method right away. Now, in this method, this is what we're going to do. The first x is under one square root sign. So that is to the power of 1 over 2. The second x is under 2 square root sign. That will be x to the power of 1 over 2 times 1 over 2. Two places. The third x is under 3. So we have x to the power of 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 times 1 over 2. All of this is equal to 2. Now what do we do? This is x to the power of 1 over 2 times x to the power of 1 over 4. 1 times 1 is 1. 2 times 2 is 4. Times x again to the power of 1 over 8. 1 times 1 times 1 is 1. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. So this is equal to 2. Guess what I have to do? Because I'm picking one of the bases, I will add the powers. 1 over 2 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 8 equals 2. By now you can see the one that's easier, right? I believe this method is way easier than the first. I don't know about you though. So now we have x over here. The LCM of the power is 8. 8 divided by 2 is 4 times 1 is 4. Plus 8 divided by 4 is 2 times 1 is 2. 8 divided by 8 is 1 times 1 is 1. All of this is equal to 2. Remember the whole of this is the power. Okay. Now we have... We're having um, x to the power of 7 over 8. And it's equal to 2. two 4 plus 2 plus 1. Oh, there's a plus here. 4 plus 2 plus 1 is 7 over 8. And um, we have over 8. And that is equal to 2. We need to transfer this to the other side. 
how do we do that 7 over 8 okay this is um going to multiply 8 over 7 okay to remove it you multiply it by its reciprocal and that is equal to 2 now to the power of 8 over 7 the reciprocal 8 into 8 gone, 7 into 7 gone, 8, um, okay, x is now alone, and it's equal to 2 to the power of 8 over 7. Now, if you can recall, go back to what we got from the first method. I think we got the same thing, right? So, we are very correct to say x is equal to 2 to the power of 8 over 7. But the question is, which of the methods is easier, the first or the second? Thank you for watching and if you are new to my channel, subscribe so that you can always have access to my videos. We do this every now and then.